Generic greetings and welcome to Terra Nil. Today's beverage is a very nice and chill chamomile tea. So welcome back to Terra Nil. I've actually featured this game a couple of times on the channel in the past. Once when it was a early prototype and then again as a limited run demo. This is the version 1.0.1 .1 influencer build. I've been given the opportunity to try part of the full game out before release. It's due out on I believe the 28th of March. So that's out soon or out now depending on when you're watching this video. As always links will be in the description. Again for full disclosure this is not a sponsor sponsored video. There's been no generic humans currency change hands. However, I was given the opportunity and I have taken that opportunity to try this thing early in order to demonstrate it. If you're not aware what the game is, essentially it is a climate restoration puzzle game. A lot of games have like a climate change, climate damaging or ecosystem uh, reduction mechanic, normally due to sort of heavy industry or whatever you're doing. And well, this game is... <laughs> <laughs> the ship's already sailed, the ecosystem is utterly devastated, the climate's wrecked, and we have to turn here, uh, turn up here to basically fix it. So we fill up the rivers, get the watering can, and you know, put some grass seed down, plant some trees, put the bees in, and uh, yeah, make sure everything's back to what it should have been. And then another big part of it is to take all of what you use, all of the buildings and industry that you use to restore the climate, and you take it with you. So there's basically only what was originally there. Uh, there. So that is the game, that is the primer, and well, let's go to New Restoration, and I will show you a little bit of the game. There is currently two, um, two biomes, two maps in this version of the game. Uh, there will be some more, obviously, in the full version, but I'll show you both in the in this preview and there is the last desolate leaf coming off that almost certainly dead tree it's going through a very very dusty barren landscape but however it will nicely land on a tome of knowledge the tome of knowledge which will tell us how to restore the climate to its natural state and there we go this is the beginner's guide to ecosystem restoration so introduction this book serves as a guide to the intricate process of restoring and environment from the wasteland to a thriving ecosystem good so what do we need to do firstly we need to select our difficulty we have gardener we have ecologist and we have environmental engineer um basically yeah the ecologist is the class as the normal setting so you can see uh, yeah percentage is 100 100 percent you've got uh, cycling on tutorials enabled etc whereas the gardener is a more chill experience you you know you get more resources and you don't spend as much and then environmental engineer is um well, tutorials disabled and hints and stuff. We're going to go with the ecologist because it's a nice middle ground there. And let's go with confirm. And it's going to basically tell us the tutorial. So how do you move around? Well, we put mouses at the end of the screens and we can use a middle mouse. Yes, that's fine. And uh, do the S and D and then some zooming because, you know, we haven't played a game ooh, in the last sort of three decades. So the way we have to regenerate, you can see we've got this barren wasteland here, but we can play a turbine when you mouse over the buildings we get a little uh, video as well to demonstrate what it's like so that's nice and handy it provides power or electricity and requires rock so let's just place that in the middle and it shows the area effect and we get these lovely sort of um wispy leaves come down and now we need to place some toxin scrubbers so that cleanses nearby wasteland of all toxins converting it into fertile soil so we can place them in these areas here if you hold shift you can uh, quickly place multiples and there we go so what we've done is scrub all of this horrible wasteland and turn it into some nice fertile soil which we can then use the uh, irrigation irrigator here so we can just rotate that around and again we're just going to place it where it needs to go um, we've now been given this uh, greenery uh, setting here and that shows us basically what level we are on and we need to get everything to as you might imagine 100% and let's just place that in there lovely little bit of animation as we place it and this sort of waters everything we got all of these all this grass here we also see some clouds overhead and actually really nice shadows on there as well and then finally we'll place this over here just rotating it to there and then there we go um if ever you are lost you can always look in the handbook for hints about what to do next yes yes we can so the greenery goal increasing the landscape's greenery is your primary goal remember to keep an eye on your available resources to begin with get the greenery to 30 percent so let's do that we have some rocks on the left and rocks on the right and and let's just place some turbines on either side. That means we can then place a 
one of these uh, scrubbers here, toxin scrubbers. Um, you don't have to place it wholly within the uh, generational bounds, if that makes sense. Uh, you can place it partially like so. Um, each of these turbines can only have, I think, up to six connections, so it's important to, uh, to bear that in mind when you're placing things. I'm not going to build on the other side, because I have a feeling that we may end up... Uh, we may end up having to, um, well, I know the land's going to expand, so that's why I don't want to do that. So rotate this around, and that will take us up to 31%. It shows you what you're going to get in terms of uh, the green um, points. So it's 115, 105, less there. So 100, uh, I think 100, 128 there uh, is probably the best bet. So we'll do that. That takes us up to 32%. And okay, the land has expanded, or rather the map has expanded, and we are given more land. Terra Nil, yes, very much so. Um, yeah, give them more land. This is all dynamically generated, so even if you've completed each level, you can go back and try them again if you do so desire. I think there's also alternate modes in the uh, full version of the game. So, we have now a lot more stuff on the bottom here. It says we need to reclaim some more greenery tiles to unlock that. So, well, let's just see what we can do here. So, we're going to place that there. We're going to place this in that corner. This is a riverbed here. We can't do anything about that, but, uh, well, not now anyway. However, if I place some of this in, we should be able to. So, I could just go straight ahead like that. That's 97, whereas if I do um, that, it'll be 83, 51. So, actually, yeah, it's probably... Probably that would be the best course of action. So there. And there's a bit more done. Oh, we need... <laughs> oh, no, no, we've actually unlocked it. We've now unlocked this water pump. So I haven't really talked about costs. So when you, when you basically green the landscape you get uh, not only the percentage points you also get these uh, leaf um, this leaf sort of currency and then you can use that to fill up the rivers and that's what you may end up doing i'm going to place this thing in here here um like so because we can place it up river and then it'll go down uh, it doesn't flow up probably didn't need to state that but <laughs> There you go, uh, and that's now in, that's converting all of this, which is very nice indeed. Let's uh, go ahead and place this in, say, there, and we're going to make sure we can restore a lot of this climate. Again, very handy when you're mousing over. It shows you in red what it will not touch, and in green what it will, so that's good. So we can basically try and maximise our, our placement here, which I think would be about there, that is fine. Then we'll place one in, say, this corner over here. Yeah, that's good. And then another one in here. So that should suffice. There we go. Uh, uh, I think I said there we go there. I mean, here we are, or there we go. But uh, we combined the two and we got something out of it, which is uh, a talking point, so hey ho. All right, greenery goes in, and that is pretty good. We're going to do something similar here, and... Maybe expand to that side. It will be 98 to there, so that is good. So we've got this so this sort of peninsula bit all done. We now have another building. This is a calcifier. Uh, crystallizes nearby greenery, creating rocks. So we can place it, say, there, and we get rock, which means we can then expand. I don't think we need to do any of that, but we shall, we shall see. Um, there is... When you place the wind turbines, I don't think you can place... Yeah, you can't place multiples next to one another, I don't think. So it's important to place them in... Yeah, so I can't place another one within that wind turbine's area of effect. So it's just important to keep that in mind. So there's those two in. I'm going to place, again, some more of these in here. Um, that corner will, again, suffice. It's going to just make all this nice and green. We're going to place one of them in there as far back as we can. And then maybe, again, up there because it's going to, it's going to filter down. And we'll place one in there, and then finally one in. We need to just fill the rest of this up, so I think that will do. Yep, there we go. So we've just made a lot of this. We're on to 67, 68% already. So there's still huge tracts of land that we've not done anything with. So we're going to do that. We're going we're gonna to try and fix this. So we'll place one in, say, here. Place another one further along, maybe. Um, maybe there. Then in here and then we'll place yeah we'll we'll start to convert that and 128 can't put one there 119 but we get all of this back bit because i plan on be putting another one in there and mm, now place it there okay so we've got that up to 78 percent Still got huge tracts of land that we've not yet 
converted. Should have probably placed this one in here first before the other one, but no great deal. We now have a excavator. So it creates a new riverbed, but poisons the land around it. So yeah, we can then build, build riverbeds like that. I'm going to do that because basically uh, we need some inland stuff here. So we get this drill, fire it down, and there it goes. And then the water is then going to naturally flow back here. So, no, it's not. It's going to go to there. That's a shame. We can probably place one there. and Yeah, we can. We can place more. I won't do it just yet because I think it would be of some benefit to to build further inland. Um, although maybe placing it there would be more of an option. Firing it forward. Oh, yeah, that's all right. But it's going to, oh, it's going to wreck the land around it. So maybe not ideal. Very far from ideal, in fact. We'll place it... Place it there. Yeah, that should suffice. And then we'll get some nice water inbound there. And if we wanted to, you can then sort of calcify that, then build up here. There's, there's lots of options. In fact, I will calcify that. I'll place that there. And then we'll place in a lot of the climate restoration stuff around here. So one there. Oh, we're getting low on funds, though. So this is a problem that I'm, I'm placing a lot of these buildings, but I'm not getting funds back. So let's, uh, well... We'll get 50 back by placing that, so it actually costs nothing because it was 50 to start with. Um, do we want to place one in here? That would be 90 back if we did that, yes. But if we if we just think ahead a little bit and place this in there, we should get some more back. So we'll go for that. And 106 back. We're up to 90% as well, which is handy. That can go in there. We'll pl place another sort of L shape in here. Mm, 102, 105. 105. And we're up to 97% restored. What we'll do is place one in there. And we'll place one in... There, maybe? And this should be... There we go. We've now got two. Well, the first step's completed. So, first step is to endeavor to restore the water and plant life. So we know we've done that. Now, once the backbone of the ecosystem is thriving, your next step is to increase the diversity by growing plants, introduce uh, different forests and whatever. So we'll, we'll do that, yeah, crack on. Um, so we need wetland, what's that? Finboss and forests. Okay, so we've got a tier two now. So we can convert this or those things in a wetland. Okay, that's fine, we can do that. However, I think it would be prudent to continue with the restoration of the climate over here, just so we have a lot more to work with. There we go. Because we've still got all of this that we've done nothing with, but if we revitalize all of this now, we're going to save ourselves a little bit of time later on. And money is still... It's, money's tight, but it's all right. We're, we're going to get there. There's 111. Um, there's 58. But if I place another one of those in this corner, which we can do, we might get a, we might get a little bit extra. Actually, I don't think we will because we're going to go further that way. 58. That's fine. Then we've got all this as well. Okay, that seems to be fine. Uh, water doesn't go to the middle here, but we can we can deal with that. So, we need hydroponium. Provides leaf resource and wetland. Requires low ground in an irrigator. So we can't place it up there, but we could place it, say, there. And we get a decent amount of wetland. About maybe one-fifth. So we're going to place one there. We're going to place one over here. And, and there's the end of that chat. We, can, we can't place anywhere else. Okay, this is a good opportunity then to place one of those in. Place another one of these in about, say, there. And then we can use that. And all of this becomes, or not all of it, but a fair chunk becomes wetland there. And obviously all these tiles are changing. We've got lovely detail. Lots of like lily pads and sort of swampy moss. And 
Where do we need to place the last one? What I'm going to do is... That'll be 50 to place it over here. But that's fine. Because we can then convert that. And then we've got wetland. So we have completed the wetland stage of it. So all of this is wetland. Good. What else do we need? We need to get... Forests and meadows, essentially. So the forests you can place by putting in these beehives on trees. Like over here, for example. Okay, I'll do that after after just putting in this. I think it did say at one point there. Yeah, we get plus one out of all of that. <laughs> That's fine. So, big chunk of forest. Uh, yeah, big chunk of um, meadows there, which is nice. Guess another one down here. And we're already completed almost. There it is. That's completed. Good. Uh, this is where the slight problem comes in. Um, we can use this to basically set fire to... We can set fire to this stuff and it'll burn. And then, then we can go from there. Uh, I'm a bit concerned, but okay, let's fire there. Now, because this is on an upper level, it, I'm hoping it just burns the upper level and doesn't spread down. It should spread to the end, which it has. And it's spreading around here. And obviously you can see the land burning, taking all that away. But still, we have stuff remaining. We've just been given a research centre. Reduce the cost of some buildings and unlocks the ability to manipulate the region's climate. I will place one of those, and I'll place it in um, there because I can. So, um, this reduces some of the cost, but also... We then get optional goals, and everything like the irrigator has an ideal condition. So generates green by water in nearby soil, generates, uh, can be rotated, yes, so ideal conditions, and that's based on the humidity here. So, what are we going to do? Um, we've got things like, well, this climate cultivation here. So we've got another tier, which is a cloud cedar. Use surrounding water and an ocean to encourage cloud formation and increases the humidity. So if we drop that down, we can see we want to get wildflowers bloom. So, so we should be able to see the wildflowers blooming then. Yeah, seem quite... Oh, no, there you go. They're all blooming. These are all the wildflowers. Um, migratory birds return. Okay. Um, I can't see any of the birds. Uh, and fungi in forests, we don't have one of those either. But we need also ferns on riverbanks. But we need to probably go for some more seeding again. So we're going to place that over here. That's going to give us that biome. That's completed now. So now forests. Forests, we can use these arboretums here on wrecked areas. One there. And one in there. And then another one in... Mm, we're not going to... I don't think we're going to get all of this in one go. No, I don't think we're going to get all of the forest required. So what is the best course of action? Because it needs to be on that sort of scorched ground. We can change that. And maybe burn that. But what's it going to wreck? That's my, that's my concern. What is it going to wreck? Well, the fun's in finding out. Activate laser. So it's going to burn this bit here. It's going to keep this, and then it'll spread round. And it'll spread round here, and it probably will stop at this wetlands bit. Which is pretty much what we were after anyway. Because we don't want it spreading past that. And I'm going to assume that it's not going to burn the wetlands. It has not burned the wetlands. Excellent. So, we've managed to get... Oh, the... Yeah. The backbone of the ecosystem. You know, thri thriving. Um... Now, with plant life and climate re-established, the final step is to construct an airship by recycling your buildings, remove your presence, and introduce fauna to the new custodians of the ecosystem. We can do that. However, I do want to get more. We need the rain. So I'm going to place these in here to increase the humidity, which is not going to be a big issue, I don't think. You can see we've got rain begins. So it is going to start to rain. And any area which is cleansed 
So like in and around here, but we haven't built on it or we haven't used the irrigator. That should be now naturally irrigated by the rains. Let's see if any of what I've just said actually happens. <laughs> that symbol is different from the actual building. I think that was the original one. I don't know. Anyway. Oh no, my mistake. The rains, it doesn't really seem to matter if the if the ground is um, is contaminated or cleansed or whatever. It just does it. Oh, that's lovely. That's what we want. Um, I will place some more forests around here though, because we can. Good. So that's now in. And that's what we've got so far. I mean, it looks pretty good, right? And all of this is getting built. Let's continue on. Let's continue on with trying to get... Uh, another 10% there. So, water lilies now blossom. Oh, there we go. All blossoming. Salmon run. We need to get over 90%. Can we do that? 2%. 5%. There it is. So, salmon run. So, I'm guessing if we look in the water in places then... We'll reduce that down. Will we see salmon? Or will we see them trying to go upstream? Yeah, there they are! There they are! Right. So they're trying to jump up and over. <laughs> That's a nice animation. Actually feels like the salmon have weight there. Okay, good. So, let's get a dropship. This is where we have to basically place something down and we need to... We need to gather back all of these buildings. And it's actually more of a challenging thing than expected. So there is the... Um, there is the blueprint of our dropship. And now what we need to do is use these silos to gather up all of the stuff that we've been uh, that we've been placing down. So let's see where we can put this. Um, the cons my concern is getting some of these. So you place that there and you can see it's removing all of this. But because it's now raining, it will hopefully naturally sort of all... Uh, I'll gather up. This is the difficult one. This is where I'm going to struggle. Um, we do now have a boat, but I think you can use these to... Oh, you can't. I don't know how I'm going to get that. <laughs> Cards on table. I have no idea how I'm going to fix that problem. Um, yeah, okay. We'll see what we can do. Um, so we'll gather all this up, because the boats naturally they can go... Uh, oh, we need to place the boat in there. So... We can place these things in here, and they'll gather the stuff around, including the canisters. But back here, how am I going to get those? We can't. We just can't get those. Um, also, I think we need a lock in here, which means that when we place that, there you go. The boat comes along. It's going to grab all of this stuff, and then it's going to head. There we are. Um, we do need to gather that lock, though, as well. Mm. That'll go in there. This'll gather those two. Mm. We need to get up here somehow again as well, so we'll have a lock there. And then we can gather actually all of that in one go. So the left-hand side's pretty much cleared. And obviously we are on all of this completed as well. So that's good. That's going to be okay, which because we put those bits in there for the water. I genuinely think the way to solve this, the only way to solve it, in fact, um, new riverbed, is to just, like, blast the riverbed. Um, I'm going to have to do that. And will that make a river all the way there, or will it be... I don't know if that'll work. I think it'll make a riverbed. I guess I can then fill it up with this, can't I? So I can do that. But then it doesn't have access to the main collection point. So I can place that, but it, it can't come from there. We need, to, we need to connect it up somehow. Oh, dear. It's a bit more advanced than... Yeah, previous. Um, I guess we could do that way. That would then blast a hole that way. <laughs> It's far from ideal, but that should work now. It means I can use this. Yes, we can then collect pretty much all of this up. Oh, there's that one there as well. Oh, nightmare. Nightmare. Okay. 
I'll have to go... I guess I'll have to place that there. And that there. That should suffice. We've got loads of money, so I'm not concerned about the funds. But we've carved all that out. And I think it is connected to that. It should do, because it just said it's going down that way. So then we'll... No, is it not connected at all? Oh no, it is. We just need a lock. And then... Yes, we can connect... I'll collect those. It says it's going to collect that. I'm, I'm not convinced. Um, so we'll collect that. We'll collect... All of those. I think you can only have one of those. Oh, where's that going to? Oh! Oh, it's struggling. It's struggling. It can't get away. <laughs> it collected the lock. <laughs> right, fine. There we go. So you just have to be a bit careful there. And I'm just going to speed it up to max speed, which is it's just vehicle speed. And it's going to go and grab all of this. While the vehicle's here, might as well grab that. And then those. And then all of those. And we're just doing it as like, you know, one pass on the way back. Um, all of those. And then that piece. I think there's everything there done. And that one. And those. And then finally, we could probably use the canister to connect that, to then do that. I guess I could have canistered some of these a little bit further, but 100%. I think that's it. I think that's pretty much it. So, we now need to use the Animal Observatory. Is that fully, is that fully done? I think it is. Humidity is over 90% uh, as well. It's not indicating that there's any problems. So we're going to use this thing. This is the Animal Observatory. And the way this works is, we can click on it. He says, oh, we're only up to... Oh, of course we're up to that, that amount. So we click on the... Apparently we don't click on that. It's not working. Click on that. Aha, here we go. So, scanner. This is where we have our different types of animals. So it looks like a deer, frog, bear, duck... Uh, unknown and wolf, maybe? Predator prowls. Yeah, so grazer lives in the herds and wide up grassland. Small amphibian lives in the reeds of wetland. Large. Uh, caniforms domain near a forest. That's bear. Web footed waterfowl. Yeah. Industrious rodent. Is that a beaver? That'll be beavers. Maybe. Yeah. And then predator. And they have different types of biomes. So, for example, let's use our scanner and scan the middle of the field. And. There you go. We have we have either found or attracted deer. And we need to generate three of them in total. Let's go for the uh, the frog. And I reckon it's going to be near wetland. So it's near wetland. So in range of at least ten wetland tiles. And ah, in range of some other type of tile. So let's do another scan. So it doesn't want to be within this area. So let's go for say that one. No. What about down here? No. So again, it's not telling us there. But what about this area where we've got all these meadowy bits? Yes, there it is. We found frogs. What about bears? Uh, domain is the forest. So we'll scan in the forest. So it wants... Ah, in range of at least forest tiles. Has to be on a hill of at least 20 tiles. And then there's another one that we don't know about. That's fine. We're going to go for beavers. We're going to assume they're going to be in the wetlands. Hmm. Requirement partially met in range of river. So, let's try that. There you go. 
requirement partially met in range of forest. So, are they going to be there? Definitely. Partially in range of river. Hmm. So that is just off. That is just right. So you have to find just the right tile. And there's three of the animal species required. Okay. So that's basically it. We could continue on and scanning for more animal species, I believe. Um, so, well, it says waterfowl, where they're going to be. Uh, what a surprise. Uh, yeah, geese. Oh, it's geese. There's all the gooses, goose eyes, gooses, just doing some geese stuff. See if we can find more geese. There's more geese. Excellent. Um, I don't know what we can do to find maybe a bear up there. We need something else. It could be. No, it's not going to be there at all. What about um, within range of other deer? Ah, oh, it needs to be within range of a tree. So it needs to be uphill within range of a tree. Hang on then. I think we can do that. We can place one of them there. With the beehive, should I say, not tree. So that should be that one done. And scan. Bears. Brown bear. I mean, because of the, the you know, the canopy of the forest, we can't see anything. But uh, there you are. So just the wolf then. Um, I'm guessing the wolf's going to be within range of what is, deer. Yeah, within range of deer. And within range of forest. So what we can do is we can generate deer there. There's the deer. And then the wolf within forest and deer. There you go. There's the timber wolf. Oh, and I, I fear I may have put the, the poor deers within danger. Right, let's finish this up then. Let's uh, place that there. That's going to uh, take that apart and take us to 100%. And there we are. We take off. And that's it. Not too bad at all. We managed to get 100% climate restoration. We, need, we got all of the optional objectives and we got every single bit of wildlife that we possibly could. That is, I think, a fairly successful run. So we'll spin around and I'll pick up the boat. Can't be forgetting the boat. <laughs> and then we're going to head off. Oh, there we go. And we'll leave. Job done. That is the wasteland reclaimed. And I'm seeing the colour temperature change to become nice and vibrant and golden. You can either continue or what I think is a lovely button... <coughs> Excuse me. Appreciate. Let's continue. Because we've appreciated it enough. And that is the first biome. And there we go. So this is where we are at the bottom. We've completed one of the biomes. We now have another type. So restoration progress is... Well, that's going to say 70% there. And the total progress is 17 because we've got all of the animals discovered, all of the biomes restored, climate thresholds achieved. Thank you for playing the preview build. Full game will launch in March 28th and your save will carry over. Yes, we also have, however, Tropical, which has beaches, mangroves, tropical forest and the coral reef. So this is the desolate island. And, well, yeah, it's fairly desolate. It's going to generate the map again. It's uh, dynamically generated. We'll see what it has to offer. So, slightly different this time. Cleaning the surrounding oceans and reintroducing plant life. Toxin scrubbers are integral as they cleanse both land and sea. Both greenery and clean oceans contribute towards your goal. Climate manipulation is possible from the outset here. So, we have um, clim uh, the climate manipulation here. So, we have temperature and humidity now. So, we have to keep an eye on some of these because... They may be mutually exclusive. You want to do them in a certain order. So, for example, ivy overgrowth, you just need over 70% for the humidity and over 15 degrees C. Jellyfish return, again, you can mouse over and it shows you what you need, um, which is all handy. A lot of it is just you need more and more and more. However, moss on rocks, hmm, we need to be under 10 degrees C but over 50% humidity. That's the only one that is sort of 
limiting us. So what we would want to do is do the moss on rock faces first and then do the others. Obviously that's, yeah, we've got a lot more to deal with here. We've got all of these oceans here so we can place these down and then go for cleansing and it cleanses the oceans as well. So you can see that's all being nice and cleansed. Uh, we can go up here. We can go down this side as well. We can obviously put in um, some of these as well once we're uh, with the water pumps. Yeah, I mean, there's there's plenty of options for us to uh, to sort things out there. Anyway, I think we're gonna leave it there for now. That's been a bit of oh, oh look at that. That's all. Uh, that's quite nice. That that's been a bit of Terran Hill. It's uh, <laughs> it's something I'm very very looking forward to. Very much looking forward to. Um, obviously, this is only a preview of the game at this stage. Um, it's out on the 28th. Not a sponsored video, but yeah, certainly have uh, an interest in this one. Played it several times in the past and. Yeah, looking forward to continue on. If you want to see this map, because this is part of the preview build, and we can do another, I can put another video out of uh, attempting this. Spoiler alert, I've attempted it before, and I failed dramatically, because uh, you get a couple of things like uh, monorails, uh, where you can move things around, and it is quite a different game to the uh, previous one. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, uh, yeah, we'll see what the full game is like when it is released. As always, if you have enjoyed the video, thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.